All right. Okay, so back for more. Murray's got a job today. And it's probably something to do with getting the van back. And I cannot stand freaking toothpick talking. So let's get the heck out of here and get on with this game. Trying to think of what to talk about. There's not a whole lot to talk about still. Well, well, last part pretty much. Carmelita rescued rescued the Cooper gang and was freaking pissed. <laughs> Explain as she explained how she got here, which was by the means of some skunk or whatever. Dude, that slam killed him. By some skunk whose name I've forgotten. Something paradox. Something paradox, and he apparently was a good guy. We don't even see him late. Okay. So I guess when he took his treasure, he was like, right. nope. Thanks Screw to it. the bug in Toothpick's office, we have a pretty clear idea of what's going on. Toothpick plans on moving the stolen gold out of the mine using his special train. Unfortunately, that train is now also being turbocharged by our van. And need I mention that we're really? stranded in time unless we recover it? Well, anyway, it's useless to go after the train in the mine. Toothpick will have stepped up security since our escape, and the place will be crawling with guards. We're going to have to hit that train while it's rolling, but first, we're going to have to catch it, and we'll do that by diverting its route. After surveying the rail system, I've determined there are three key track switches we will need to throw. And Toothpick has entrusted the keys to three of his toughest henchmen. Wildman Wiesner, Frenchy Lestache, and Red Eye Robles. Furthermore, these guys Red keep the keys fierce. around at all times. The good news is that during the Toothpick Appreciation Festival, there are a number of contests, and all of them will be competing. Murray, I took the liberty of entering you in the Bare Knuckle Brawl Contest. Wildman is the defending champion, and he's sure to have the key on his person. Sly, I hope you're feeling fast, because you're going to be competing in the crookedest race in the West, the Toothpick 500. Frenchy happens to be the defending champ, so it's a sure bet it's his time that you'll have to beat. Carmelita, you'll be up against Red Eye in the shooting contest. As the defending champ, he keeps the well, yeah, can't have to see it. with the third king. But Carmelita's inside. a better shot anyway. Now let's get going. We don't have any time to waste. Carmelita's a better shot anyway. So. <laughs> No rules brawl. Oh dear. Weighing more than he should. I need your money.
Look, I am trying to earn money while killing you guys. I would appreciate it if you guys would... Wow. Raised in the air, too. I feel like I'm in the circus. No time for jokes, Fly. You better get moving. Oh, my legs feel like spaghetti. Come on, Fly. Get your back into it. Faster, Fly. Faster, Fly. This is the craziest race I've ever seen. Yeah, okay. Eye out for that jackalope. <laughs> you can do this, pal. This definitely reminds me why I prefer picking pockets. We're in a time crunch here, fly. <laughs> Can't slow down now. <laughs> kind of hard. Hurry up! The clock is ticking. Time is running out! Bentley, shut up! Why do I feel like I'm back in prison? Concentrate, it's just a little further! Come on, you've almost got to place one! Oh! That was a cheat shot. That was a cheat shot. I feel like I'm in the circus. No time for jokes, Sly. You better get moving. Just keep the ball spinning, Sly. That's it, Sly. Keep pushing. Come on, Sly. Get your back into it. So you oh, get hit like once spaghetti. and it's over. Ugh, even my tail is tired. <laughs> Fly. 
Bentley, shut up! Better keep an eye out for that jackalope. You better get on the ball, fly. <laughs> this Bentley. definitely reminds me why I have a perfect in pockets. We're in a time crunch here, fly! Hurry up! The clock is ticking! Can't slow down now. Almost there, Sly. Don't stop now! This is the craziest race I've ever seen. <laughs> so close I can smell that finish line. Parts can stand up to me. I see what you mean. I can barely stand you myself. Oh, you're scared of losing. I understand. <laughs> well, I just won the competition, so you're too late. But I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. You just go right ahead, sweet thing. If you can beat my score, you get this here trophy. But if you lose, you gotta give me a kiss. Ooh. Say? Ooh. This guy's breath smells like fermented gym socks. Carbolita, we don't have a choice. All right, I'll take your wager. But you better get ready to hand over that trophy. And you better get ready for some serious lip wrestling. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> 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 The only thing this creep will be kicking is that trophy. Goodbye. I need to wipe the grin off this clown's face. Show this big jerk how to shoot. Hey, I'm not gonna make it. Don't call me top shot at Interpol for nothing. How you do this next time? There we go. What the? Oh, this ain't happening. It's like some kind of magic trick. The only thing disappearing is your trophy, Red Eye. Way to go, Carmelita. Now grab that key. I know. Yeah. Yeah, Murray's got muscles. That's for sure. And now Sly has a job, but let's on Thief Net. Something needs to be done about those Cooper characters. I don't like them skulking around my town or my mind. I better not hear about nothing going wrong with the plan. Better not. Oh boy, you got funny look. Got something to. Okay, so I'm at the 15 minute mark with this. I think this should be the last one. Hopefully things will go well. It should be the last one, I think. It, it feels like it's the last one. Because we got to get the van back. We got to take care of Toothpick.
Operation Gold Digger. I'd sing that song that just came to mind because of Gold Digger, but uh, that would probably be considered offensive and I don't want to sing it. Especially since I barely know the lyrics to begin with. How'd you survive getting ran over by a train? Okay, eyes front, everyone. The clock is ticking on this one, so we don't have time to monkey around. Toothpick's gold trade is already rolling, and with the incorporation of our van, it's virtually impossible to stop. Thankfully, Tennessee was able to divert the train's route, which gives us the chance we need to catch it. First, Murray, you're going to get the van back. It's positioned near the rear of the train, acting not unlike a booster rocket. It's going to take your considerable fighting skills just to reach it. The catch is that it's being secured with a set of special magnetic locks, which can only be broken by someone of your immense strength. Once the van is free, you'll be able to catch the train and pick each of us up as we complete our tasks. Carmelita, you and I will tackle the next set of cars. I need you to use your peerless marksmanship and cover me while we make our way forward. It won't be easy. The train is crawling with guards and they'll be gunning for both of us. Our goal is to reach a computer terminal near the middle of the train where I'm going to do a little hacking. As we already know, Toothpick cannot stand high-pitched frequencies, particularly whistles. So I'll reroute the power and control of the steam whistles on the train engine. Something tells me this will come in handy when we finally reach him. Sly in Tennessee, you're up next. Uh, I have a feeling to ensure we stop Toothpick, go. we'll need to cover all possible escape routes. So Sly, you'll take the roof of the train. Tennessee, you'll move through the cars where we should be able to reclaim your gold along the way, but your gunslinging will definitely be put to the test. You both should reach the engine around the same time, where you can take Toothpick down. The rest of us will catch up with you in the van. One last thing, don't forget we're a team, and that's the only way we're gonna be able to pull this off. Everyone oh, the last thing should be about perfectly. those guys if that are going to get that the van, stole the cane the in the first place. Stop Toothpick. Now let's move out. That should be that should be one thing that we should watch out for is because they're obviously gonna gun for Tennessee's cane. They made that obvious in the first part, and I'm just like, they're gonna steal his cane. <laughs> like they're gonna go for that cane. Like they wouldn't go out of their way for it. <laughs> Otherwise. Come on, load, please. Load. I know it's a long, and this must be a long one. Oh boy. And considering how this game works, it's gonna immediately shoot me into the next chapter anyway. Oh. I touched it and died! <laughs> Please don't explode yet, little barrel. 
Kind of hack again. I'm moving a little too fast for my own taste. Now oh, I'm getting beaten the crap out of now. Oh come on! It magnet it like magnetized towards me. Oh jeez, that was dumb of me. a bit too smoothly for my liking I have to say 
And I was never really good at those games anyway. I was never good at Gradius. <laughs> by the arrows it says go that way so let's go that way I 
thought it would reset. I would be scared half to death climbing climbing this. <laughs> Raccoon or not. Why don't you bring your little runt self down here and take your whooping like a man, Sheriff? Um, <laughs> I don't think we should taunt him. Give it up, toothpick! The fat lady is sung and you are done! Oh, am I? Yeah. My gun! No! Not again! Uh, thanks, kid! Lou Paradox sends his regards! Adios, kitchen! Not again! I'll take care of this. <laughs> I did it wrong again! It's all over, Cooper! Break out the tail bird costume fly! Watch those lasers fly! Along the way! <laughs> this guy is winning. Still! I make it quick for you! I use the ball on those bells! Oh, oh, oh. Is that the best you've got? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Whoa. Need to dodge this wrecking ball. Ow! Jump the ball whirlwind, fly! No way to jump these twisters. I'll have to avoid them. Jeez! Now's your chance, fly! You got a hot button on that one.
No, tempted. Can't let him squash me. <laughs> I definitely go small whirlwind. And I should dodge these whirlwinds. <laughs> it's hard to dodge the big one. Ah! <laughs> oh, dear. oh wow. You gotta keep moving. Come on, Jumping. I'm right here. <laughs> oh, gee. I just noticed what that was. Oh, well. I guess I couldn't expect him to fight there. Did you forget your glasses? <laughs> No time. Like, he's like, no, no time for reaction. Oh, jeez. Oh. Like no time. No time to react. Need to dodge this wrecking ball. Easier said than done. I watch out for those whirlwinds. No way to jump these twisters. I'll have to avoid that. Oh, oh. <laughs> God, it's tough. No, oh, the best he's got is that stupid trap. Ow. Ah. Oh, God. Can't let him squash me. <laughs> Why watch out for those whirlwinds? I should dodge these whirlwinds. The heck, man? She go! She go with the whirlwind! Oh, thank God, it's a rule of three. Wow. That wasn't part of the plan. Why you have to get off that train? Jump to the van. Murray, hit the brakes. They're not working, and I can't shut down the rockets. What? You idiots! You call this a plan? Oh, I knew this was a bad idea. I knew I should have had you send me back to Paris. Oh. I can't believe it's going to end like this! What 
mission are they doing? Uh, we'll see you later. Where that gold got to? Bentley! Sorry, Murray. This has to work. Hey, that's my necklace. Here goes nothing. Oh boy. <laughs> As the van hurtled into the ravine, it felt like we were in slow motion. The thought that our adventures were over <laughs> flashed through my mind as I braced for the crash. Then, in desperation, Bentley grabbed the closest thing at hand, Murray's Australian fossil necklace, and used it in the time machine. He saved our lives. But now, we had no idea where we were headed. We held on as the van was sucked through the wormhole, tumbling around like a cork in the ocean. Who knew where we'd land? And more importantly, Ow. when? <laughs> oh. oh, that was fun. 